So you're looking to build a website with Canva, but you don't know if it's the right way to go. My name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to share with you all the important things that you need to know about the Canva website builder, all the positive and all the negative things. So first, for who I recommend it, if you're a business owner, if you want to have a simple, beautiful website that you don't want to have a lot of complicated things there, if you're looking to build a website fast and even you have the option to build it for free, in that regard, Canva can be amazing. Also, if let's say you are a couch or you just want to have a school project that you want to build a site for the school project, in that regard, Canva, top-notch thing. Let me explain, these are the pros. So first thing first, you're gonna find plenty of templates that you can use. This is a template that I choose, I will show you right here. Look at that. Then I can just change the text, I can change the pictures and I'm good to go. You are going to find plenty of elements here that you're gonna have, like let's say I'm going to write Christmas tree and I can take it and I can just like move it somewhere and I'm just going to add it like here and then what you can do, you can even have a baseline, you can play around with it. And this is something that I absolutely love is that you're gonna find plenty of elements, plenty of photos, plenty of graphics, frames, videos that you can actually add to your Canva site. Also, there is a workaround. This is also the positive side, but also the negative side. You're gonna find plenty of like workaround with the pages. Now, there were plenty of people saying that you can't add more pages with Canva because this is like always just a design but it's a design for website because if I'm going to preview it, as you can see, there is no header. But let's say that you want to add a header. How it actually works is that you need to create a separate project because right now the Canva doesn't have it like Squarespace because with Squarespace, you can have a pages there. Simple to understood. But with Canva, you don't have it. So you have to always create a new design project for that specific page. So let's say I'm going to have the header here and I would have in the header uh, about us or let's say some something, right? And someone's going to click on about us. They are going to get to a different design. So that's pretty much how it works and how we can work with it and how the whole process works is that there is like work around, but you're not going to find here on left like pages. So this is the, the con, but also is like, okay, that you can still have pages. Another thing is the contact form. So with Canva, the only way you can have it is you can have like phone number, email address, but you can add contact form. Now there is also work around around it is that if you're going to find some free contact form builder that you can just like add a link and empt into your Canva site. So there is also work around for that, but you don't have the option. So for example, with the Squarespace, I can add a section here, I can add a contact and bam, we're gonna have the contact as page. Doesn't work like that with Canva. So that's like another kind of like limitation. So then come also another con is that if you want to like write articles, Canva ain't it. So with the articles, again, you would have to have like new new pages new designs and you don't have it here with Canva. So for example, to different website builders where you would have the, the option to have like, let's say a pages and you're gonna have blogging, where you're gonna have articles, where you're gonna have published, unpublished, where you can understand the SEO, change the pages SEO, you don't have it. So that's the thing also with the SEO. Now, these are the most important cons that I perceive and also no option to have e-commerce or like scheduling. You don't have it there. Yes, you can add the scheduling, from let's say you're gonna have Calendly and you would add the Calendly into the Canva. That's something that you can do. Just be aware, like the Canva itself is really amazing as a design platform that, you, that the site is going to be good, but it lacks heavily in, in features. Maybe in the future they're gonna add it, but this is the important things that you actually need to know. So when I can even come here for the designs, when I'm going to the template, for example, right here, I can apply all pages and you got it, right? And it's beautiful. Like this is the thing, comparing to different website builders, what I might say is that I'm not a professional designer, I'm just like regular guy who likes to build websites quickly, effectively, so I can move on with my life. Canva is amazing for the templates, even like right here, this one, right? And look at that, I can preview it, and then what you can do, you can start changing the pictures and everything. Even all the designs, when you're gonna link it to someone, 
it looks insane right even like look at this video so for this mamma mia and of course that you can publish the website for free again great like i pay for the pro version so i'm showing you a lot of like pro things here that i can design i'm going to a website here and i can write here for example this one this is good too and i'm going to preview it for you you can come here that you see right here that you can have the well hall resort and spa hotel accommodations the photos again looks great and you're going to find here option how it looks on the mobile and for that is good so for these kind of sites that you want to build that you, the templates that you're going to find amazing just be aware it is like lacking a lot of features but it's not like a level of figma of course or like even framer but here like with the elements that you can take the christmas tree i can rotate it i can move it i can edit it that you're gonna find a plenty of ai tools that you can use so you have the magic rays and magic graph then you can move the pictures right you can rotate it and you can just like play around with it because it's just like all it just just one these are like all designs and that's how we need to perceive it but again comparing to many years ago what you took to create a website like this it would take so much time to be honest even to create the designs how to have it positioned because i'm not a, like really a designer to understand the structure of the website and if someone can put me something like this in front of me and all I have to do is change the pictures and change the text then I'm just going to link it to different for example projects I mean like what are we talking about here and you can publish for free and of course you can like connect your own domain to Canva but for this this is insane to be honest so I hope this video helped you to summarize it for you so really great for business owners, coaches, side projects, projects that you're looking for a simple and effective design, but you don't want too much complexity, too many features. Also, if you're looking for, let's say that you want to build a quick and effective website, amazing, Canva is great for that. But if you're looking for complexity, articles, e-commerce, just advanced things, that you would find, for example, with Squarespace, this ain't it. I will show you here, for example. So when I'm going to be here in sections that you can find plenty of like digital products. Then when I'm going to click here, add a blog. Then many of the things that you're going to find. So for example, newsletter. For the newsletter, you would have to add again. You would have to add a newsletter from somewhere else and just link it. Then also the quote, code here, calendar, summary, markdown, product, scheduling right uh, instagram maybe you're going to find it also to have an instagram feed for your canva website for free so these are the things that that it's it's good but kind of limited but really good for specific cases and i hope this video helped you if you're deciding if you should use it and it gave you at least a little bit of value on your journey thank you very much for watching i hope you are going to have a great day and goodbye